Hello and welcome once again and uh, we are continuing with customizing our WordPress website and we are customizing the agency light theme here and in this part we will discuss about adding team section in website. So here in our theme this is the demo of our theme and in our theme you can see we have uh, this team section. So this is the, the demo from the official website official theme page. Now this is our theme page whatever we have set up so far so you can see we have we have this business information page the sliders page about page faq page services page and so on and now here we have to set up uh, our team part so to set up the team you just have to i will navigate it so you just have to go to customize and here you will go to home section and in this case the team section is given right here. No, now here you will notice one important thing. First of all go to the home page so that you can see the changes here also. So team section title our team and here you will see meet So here we can write something like meet our team or you can give more catchy titles here. For example, they have written some text here. So I will copy the dummy text here. So our team and so on. But you can see uh, this section is a bit different from other sections. So that's why I am uh, configuring this whole theme for you just to show you how different type of sections are configured in WordPress themes. So here you can see you, are, you can configure the theme section from widgets part. So you can see uh, in this case you don't have to add pages anymore. This particular section can be configured from the widgets part. So we have already discussed about widgets part. So now we will close it. We will go to the dashboard. And from here, widget can be found in appearance and widgets. So here is the widget. And you can see th there is one widget is specifically added for our theme. So you have to notice one thing. Or you have to remember one thing that these widgets are part of the theme. So whenever a theme de developer creates a theme, whenever a theme developer creates a theme, they specifically create these widgets also. So suppose this, there are four widgets here in the footer part. So when you will uh, see the demo, so you will see these are the four widgets for the footer part. And here you can add your about section, some menus, some um, blogs. So you can provide different options in your widgets. It is not necessary to provide team, but because this particular section is given for team, so that's why we are providing team here. You can provide something else also. And here I have created uh, these three images as I mentioned. So I have downloaded these three images. I'm not using some real images, just some dummy images. So uh, when you are creating a website, you can also create some avatars of the people or you can also provide real images of your team members. So I, I have named this uh, these employees as John, Mike, and Mohan. So you can set up the team members' name as they are in your team. Now here, what do we have to add here? Means how will the team members' name appear here? So you have to find some team widget. So you can see here on the left hand side you you have custom HTML. Suppose you have to add some custom HTML code. So you can drag it here and you can write your HTML here. So whatever some custom HTML you have to write, suppose you have to provide a paragraph, so you can write a P tag. So write a P tag here and some paragraph. Similarly, if you want to provide some menu, so now we can remove this because we don't want this custom menu right now. So we can remove this. Similarly, uh, let's say you want to display a gallery of images so instead of team, you, you have to display a gallery so you can add images in your gallery. So select images in your gallery, right? Delete this. Suppose you have to mention recent comments. So you will 
paste uh, or you will create blogs in your website and readers will read your blogs and they will comment on your blog so you can provide a recent comments here so number of comments to show is five so a simple calendar can be displayed in so these are some of them uh, some of these options are provided by wordpress itself like calendar custom html archives audio gallery meta pages these things are provided by wordpress itself but the theme developer also creates some widgets so with every widget that is created by theme developer in this case agency is written suppose name of your theme is abc theme so uh with the with those widgets widgets you will see a different type of name written here so now we will drag this agency uh team widget here so here you have to choose team members page so now it is asking for a page which is dedicated to the team member so we don't have any page for john mike or mohan so what we will do we will now create three pages so and new and new and new so we will create three pages this is this is a page for john set features featured image so i will upload three images and then i will select john's image here so this is john i'm not writing um, alt text here so this is john here you will mention profile of john so next we have another page this this will be for mike so here i will add image for mike and i will publish it and then i have image for mohan so from here you can add as much information as you can adding information about your team members is also helpful and it gives some more credibility to your website also so having information of your team members is very very much useful uh, when visitors will visit your website or or when potential customers will visit your website so they will have some face to see on your website means they will know with whom they are interacting with so now i have added these um, pages now i will load this widgets page so after reloading the widgets page now i will once again go to the team member and here let's say we want to uh, show mohan on the first page designation let's say ceo facebook link i am um, adding hashtag here but here you can you can mention their social profiles so mohan is added here similarly to add another team member you will again go back to agency light theme and to add another member here you will go back to agency light theme now here mohan is added then we will choose mike let's say mike is manager so you have to write their uh, designations properly google plus links do not work anymore but we are writing just to show you that these icons will be visible on your page then we have john let's say john is executing so facebook twitter youtube instagram let's get rid of google plus because uh, google plus is not active anymore so we will get rid of google plus and uh, we can add instagram and also uh, whatever information they have with every widget item that we have added here we have to click save otherwise uh, these widgets will not be visible properly on the front page now we have added these widgets here and we already have selected heading for our team section and now you will see we have these images here. so th this is how our website is looking now so we have some features some services and our team when you will go to this plus sign so you will see their social media links 
and we are not seeing any information here we are not seeing any information here because uh, while creating the pages for these team members we have not written anything so let's say john john has 10 years of experience in digital marketing so let's write this just this is a, just a simple demonstration so you can write this now go back to your page now go to john's profile and you will see john has 10 years of so whatever you will write on the pages of these uh, users so that information will be displayed to your visitors now what i am going to do here i will right click here i will click on inspect and so that i can see the mobile version of my website so here i can click on the toggle device from here i can select my device let's say i want to see how our website will look on ipad so on ipad it will look something like this and here you can see we have this section has now featured image on the top and content on the bottom when um, when the in the full width version actually the featured image is on the left and content is on the right in this case then you can see our team members are aligned in this way and uh, now when i will click on this plus sign so i will see their information so this is how your website will look on ipad let's say how it will look on galaxy fold so it will look something like this so now you can see the width is decreased here but you can see it is perfectly responsive having a responsive website is also good for your mobile visitors because readability is good for mobile visitors but they don't have to zoom in and zoom out again and again so this is how our team is looking right now and now when we will see the demo so you, you will see most of the sections are covered now we have to create this counter section this counter section is basically a section with you can see satisfied customers pipeline projects completed projects and so on so let's simply go to the dashboard once again and from dashboard appearance customize we can go back to the home section and this will be called as a counter section so here they are asking about count value let's say the count value is 110 and then they are asking for a page so for uh, for this section also we uh, this satisfied customers pipeline project and the information that you are seeing here uh, th this will be created with the help of pages now once again i will add three more pages here so first page will be of satisfied customers then let's say pipeline projects and let's say completed projects so you can mention anything here like how many satisfied customers you have how many projects have you done and uh, how many uh, suppose you are creating for an institute so how many students have uh, scored good marks and so on how many uh, how many students have been selected uh in some competitive examinations and so on so you can mention things like that and here I, currently i am writing this uh dummy text but you can write some useful information here so that you something that your users will find more helpful and uh, some information with help of which uh, you have better chances of getting more customers so now i have successfully added these pages and now i will reload this url once again so to i will just click on this url once again then i will go to home section again counter section again let's say we have 110 satisfied customers then uh, we have 200 successfully completed projects so completed project and let's say we have 20 pipeline projects so 20 pipeline projects so 
this counter automatically starts running when the user will land on this particular section and now this section is also completed we will go back to the demonstration once again here you can see now we have successfully configured this section also now we have to configure the block section so to configure the block section we actually have to write some articles first so articles are very much important for inbound marketing for example we created an article called what is wordpress and currently it has a featured image like this remember the size of featured image is 640 by 426 so what if you just have to add similar sized images in your blogs so for example when i added three images in the team section so you can see the size of all three images is same if you will add different sizes in different sections so they will not look good similarly when i added two sliders so you can see the size of this slider is 1368 by 500 and this slider is also 1368 by 500 similarly when i added um, these three icons in the featured section so i kept the size as 256 by 256 so that you have to do with the blogs also so currently we have one blog so let's close this currently uh, you can see we have one blog and uh, this blog has this blog has image of 640 by 426 so whatever next image you will download let's say because we are creating website for a digital marketing agency so we will add new post here and we will add something like benefits of Let's say benefits of SEO for business development. So we, we can create some blogs like this that will help our customers in understanding uh, benefits of SEO and if they will be convinced with our article, so they can buy our services also. So, so these are some benefits of SEO. So SEO increases organic discovery of our business. SEO generates high quality website traffic for our business SEO offers better return on investment SEO improves credibility and trust SEO provides 24 by 7 promotions so you can write more uh, things here but the thing is you have, we have to create another blog image here and that blog image should be of same size as of your previous image or in other words you have to add same size image for all your blog posts so i have downloaded this image from uh, the free website source free images source you can see this image is 640 into 393 and the image that we need here is uh, the image that we need here is 614 into 426 so we can resize this image you can use any particular tool for resizing I am using 426 here, and this will create something like this. And uh, now I will save this image. So when we are saving the image, so in saving the images also, we will write the same text as our article. So our article is benefits of SEO. so the name of image will also be benefits of seo now here we will upload the image benefits of seo and we will add this image to our alternate text so that search engine optimization can be increased now this image is uploaded as a featured image I'm sorry i think i have changed the image so this image will be added here and with benefits of seo this image will be added now we have two images set for each blog and from here we can go back to our appearance and customize section and then 
in the home section we can go to the blog section and you can see you have to either enable or disable this section so we have enabled this section and our latest post so we can write something like our latest post so you can write here see our latest posts or now we can go to our post and here you will see so now you can see uh, because of some reason these images are not coming on the same level so let's go back and check that this happens sometime uh, and as i said you have to add the same images in the same direction so this is 640 into 426 and this is also 640 into 426 so i have downloaded another image and you can see the dimension that i am using here for this image is 640 by 426 for some reason uh, that uh, this elephant image it is also 640 by 426 it is also 640 by 426 for some reason that elephant image is not working so i simply uh, change the image so in my blog uh, what is wordpress i uh, change this image here and uh, now you can see the front page both images are of equal dimensions and hence uh, in our blog section you can see in our latest post we have these images so when i will add more content here so the number of lines in this post and number of lines in this post will also match uh, let me copy some dummy content here so to make your website look good you have to uh, look for these small things that uh, number of lines in your excerpts are matching accordingly and let's update this so we have this now our theme is uh, looking better than before and so we have set up a blog section from here when you will click on blog so you will simply go to the blog page where uh, you have all the posts here in the sidebar you will see your latest posts so we have three posts and uh, here you will see your latest comments when you will see the other demonstration website the website where we have demonstration of the theme so here you will see now we have only these sections left uh, this is the section with client logo this is the section uh, with footer and then we have uh, this particular section with menu this is called footer menu and this is called the main menu or the primary menu here also we have some social media icons so how we can set these uh, widgets how we can set this logo section how we can set this footer section so we will deal with this in the next part.